Okay. So back to another episode of uh, learning how to do courses online. The next thing we're going to do is possibly do a Google Form. Google Form is a great way to do a survey because it puts everything on Excel sheets, uh, which is very convenient and everything like that. And the great thing about Google Form is the fact that you can make it in an active attendance or an active quiz, which is great because you can uh, limit the responses to one. So I'm going to create a Google Form right now. So if you remember, uh, from last time from the Google Classroom assignment, we hit the create button and then you create a form. So this creates a form for your assignment list. I put it on both the quick write and the form so that way they only have to look at one place. They don't have to look at multiple places. You don't want you don't want the kids to be like, where am I supposed to find this again? You can put it on your website as well. You don't actually have to put it on Google Classroom. However the case may be, your choice is basically um, your classroom. I'm just giving you the tools to use to do it. So we have our form. Um, in this one, I'm going to do an active attendance list because I want the kids to actually log in and do their attendance. Um, so that way, um, there's no misconceptions. Um, there's no I looked. I was watching the. I was watching the video. I was online. This and that. If you didn't put an attendance in, I can't give you attendance. So, you know, we would want to do an active attendance to make sure that all kids are. Um, logged in no one's cheating the system where they are going to log in for their friends you know multiple laptops on, on one person on, in front of one person he logs in for everyone else where everyone else doesn't have to do it so I'm gonna have attendance here as you can see uh, we're gonna put students name name and we're gonna make it a short answer. That's what it is, it does short answer. If you can see, we have multiple things, short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, all that stuff, drop down menus, and so forth. As you can see, we do our first one. To add a new one, you just simply hit the plus sign over here. This says add a question. We add a question, period. And then we do multiple periods. One, two, three, four, five, oops, missed five. Five and then six okay so now you have this you can put something else on there um, I would like to put the date we can put the date uh, we've had experiences where the kids don't know what day it is or they misclick and so forth and the great thing is this will help um, there are other ways to help with it we have responses so if someone responds you're gonna be able to see it uh, create a spreadsheet we're gonna create a spreadsheet so that way um, create a new spreadsheet for attendance for all the responses and we're gonna hit create because we want the responses to be on there so that creates an Excel sheet so that's under responses and then creating an Excel sheet so it creates an Excel sheet here for us to use so I'll give you an example of what happens in a bit so we created this as you can see we're going to lock some of the um, attempts that somebody does there you go oh I turned in attendance but I didn't write it down um, or I did multiple um, attempts to uh, log in to do attendance so we're gonna go to the settings button right here the setting buttons helps us um, limit those responses as you can see students will be required to sign into Google limited to one response we want to limit it to one response we want to make sure that we restrict the users to LVUSD so they're only emailing you through LVUSD because some students can just send the link to everyone's like use different website will use different Gmail accounts to um, log in so we want to do that you also want to collect email addresses so you know that the emails are LVUSD you can give them a receipt if you want to um, this goes um, if respond if respondent requests it or always this way, the student will be like, I responded, here's the receipt that I got. And you're like, okay, cool. So that is the thing we are going to do. We're going to save this. So now all changes have been saved for attendance. And we go back to the classwork. Um, we got to refresh this and we'll, the quick wires will turn to quick write. Um, so let's see how this works. I'm going to respond to myself. So I'm going to go down to preview. We're going to preview this. My name is Mike. Young, just like this. I'm going to say I'm in period one and today's date. We have a drop down menu. Today's date's the ninth. Okay, send me a copy of the response. They go yes, and you're gonna hit submit. As you can see, you have responded 
your response has been recorded and you can't go back to it. You can't actually go back to it because you've already responded once. And lo and behold, that would be it. So now we're going to go to the responses. And as you can see, we have one person that responded, LVUSD. Um, Mike Young responded in period one, it's 100% on March 2009, on March 9th. If you go over here, as you can see, there is a timestamp. Timestamps of when they logged in, how they logged in, and so forth. The student's name, what period, the date, and the email address that it came with. So the timestamp usually helps because it tells you when they logged in. So if they didn't log in at the correct time, you can tell them, hey, you need to log in at the correct time, please. Okay? And it's a great way to respond to that. Um, these are really good because of the fact that you can make a quiz like, you can make it quiz, you can make it a quiz so that you can only respond once. You can also, um, you can also make it a survey, a quick response as well, because if you look, we could have changed this to a short paragraph instead. So that way things will be worked out. And this is how we use Google, um, Google Forms. Um, I like to use it as a, as a active attendance where the student act has to actively tell you that I am present in class as of right now. So that way we don't have any trouble. Um, you know the kid is paying attention, should be paying attention, and so forth. But that's essentially what Google Forms is. You can keep add as many as you want. Um, other, other little things that it has here is import question. You can import questions from somewhere. Add title and description. Add an image. Add a video so someone can watch a video from here and then answer the questions. You can also add a selection of things. So... That's essentially what Google Forms is. Uh, play around with it. Ask questions later. Um, ask me um, any questions. If you have any, just contact me in any way, shape, or form. Um, but that's pretty much what Google Forms is. Um, is. So I want to take a time. Um, and next time, we will try and do some other ones. I will try and use Google Hangout or um, Google Meet. So that way, we can see how video editing is um is monitored and so forth. So until next time, see you later.